Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is Work Smarter, insight and tools to accelerate your fulfillment and success. Real quick, I've got big news. I just created a Facebook group called the Career Mavericks, and I created it for you for greater connection, for free training, honest advice, resources that I'm not gonna be sharing anywhere else. I would so love for you to be a part of this community. So click to be a member. You can find the link in your email from the Work Smarter video or search for Career Mavericks on Facebook. Okay, so today we're talking about how to figure out your strengths. What do I excel at and what do I need to improve? I bet your curious mind has wrestled with that question a few dozen times. You can probably name three or four of your strengths right now off the top of your head, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. The truth is you've got 10, 20, 30, 50 more strengths that you're not able to see right now in that big picture, but that's true for you. There's so much more that you're proficient at above average that you're probably even taking for granted. So let me talk to you about five ways that you can figure out, well, what am I not seeing here? What's that bigger picture of my strengths? The first thing I want you to think about is what do people compliment me on? What do people come to me for? And some of this might be more personal, like things that you do for hobbies, maybe it's cooking, but don't discount that. It doesn't mean, oh, okay, great. So I guess you should just go be a chef. Every action that you take correlates to a transferable skill. So for example, thinking about the cooking, is it that you're very creative with figuring out new recipes to try and how things work together? Are you really good at researching what is new and cutting edge? Are you great at analyzing and evaluating the different types of ingredients and which ones are gonna work the best? So there's a lot of skill that actually goes into that that's gonna be transferable to something else. Second thing is what comes easily to you? What do you do that your brain just doesn't need to work for? And don't discount this either because it's probably something you take for granted. It might be organization and your ability to create and execute a systemized plan. This is something you use every day in your daily routine, but trust me, that is not average. Everybody does not have that strength. So think about those things. What comes just natural? It's just an easy default for you because that's going to be one of your strengths. Third thing is I want you to do the accomplishments activity. And you've probably heard me talk about this before, but it's just so powerful. And even if you've done it in the past, you should be doing it at least every year. And what you're gonna do is write down your top five or more accomplishments at any context of your life, whether it's professional, personal, educational, family, anything. And write a little description, almost like a mini story about each one. Then go back and observe what types of skills, strengths, qualities you had to have possessed in order to accomplish that. What is the proof that you're good at because you've achieved this? Okay, so that'll give you a list of more right there. Then let's look at it this way. Break down this concept of strengths into three distinct buckets. You've got knowledge base, and this is what you are trained on, what you know that's way more average than a Joey professional. Then you've got the transferable skills bucket, and these are actionable, things like managed, skilled, created, directed, led. And then you've got personal characteristics, dependable, reliable, creative. Those are more of the things that you can't exactly sit down and prove, but they're so essential. And, and powerful. So think about breaking it down in those three buckets and you might expand your list. And then finally, even though I'm a big proponent of organic activities and generating this from the inside out, it's good to have an external tool, a piece of information that can help you. And that can simply be a skills bank. And I'm including that for you in the Facebook group. So if you want to take a look at it, look in the file section there. The skills bank is about four pages of all different types of skills in different types of categories. And you can go through and you can highlight which ones you are more proficient at than average. All of these things together is going to expand that picture and make your skills much more comprehensive. So I encourage you to do that, to figure it out. That way you know what to leverage and how to be intentional in making those career decisions going forward. Okay, and don't forget to pop into the Career Mavericks Facebook group. Would love to see you there. Thanks, and I'll catch you next week.